Hello everyone and uh, welcome part number two how to rebuild Volvo radiator cooling fan this is a very known issue on Volvo's excavators we're working on one 140 BF and yep they have that problem and the uh, machine is actually really reliable and nice but you need to know those problems this is a D4D diesel same for D4 D 6D diesels as well for 200 series and yep part number two if you didn't watch pump number one go and check the in description below I will put a card over there how to remove all that good stuff and get everything removed and ready for the rebuild and reassembly look we have the radiator cooling fan Pull it down in the radiator shroud. We have a cut and hole in the radiator. Bolt broke, and what it means we have lots of work to do and get it fixed. That's the worst case scenario because we have a damaged radiator, and that is a bolt. That bolt broke, and now we need to replace that bolt. As well, we will go and rebuild that radiator fan hub. Let's get started. If you first time to the channel, please subscribe. It will take you only a few seconds. Very appreciated that and more interesting and useful uh, heavy equipment videos are coming and yep, this is a bolt. That simple left threaded bolt caused lots of damage and we're going to fix everything and get back to business. Okay, let's get started. Radiator cooling fan hub complete rebuilt on Volvo excavator. Let's get started with a radiator fan. When you see the one blade broke, we're going to replace it with a new part we already got from the dealer. Take it that broken one off, and now we are installing a new one. It's only a few, yeah, I know, it's like 30 seconds how to do it, and then we'll jump right into the fan hub disassembly and so on okay I started all bolts by hand and I tore them down preliminarily yep simple that I just bolted that new radiator cooling fan to the mountain bracket okay that's uh, first step now we need to press the bearing out from the cooling fan hub okay find the right diameter socket slightly smaller than the diameter of the shaft and use the press and press it down see how I locate it I put my hub on a metal blocks make sure just enough to room to push that bearing out like so you don't want to push it against those ears because they will break here we go here is our shaft and bottom bearing so nice so easy as you can see lots of grind lots of sort of like metal dust and yep machine has uh, just about 8000 hours yep that not many but we're going to replace those bearings and as you can see inside the snap ring and we remove the first bottom bearing and the snap ring is inside okay now we have that shaft out with one bearing now time for the Snap ring, as you can see, shaft, snap ring, bearings and caps, all that in the picture and how it should be assembled. Video will be in 4K, you can put in pause and check it out. Okay, put it, your hub in a vise and see that snap ring, we remove that. And now we have the snap ring removed, we have a bigger socket, just slightly smaller than inner diameter, is the diameter of the hub, just push down that bearing but don't place your bearing on those mountain ears because they will break it is a cast iron and if you apply that pressure it will be the end you need to buy a new one see that i place it just on the edges enough to bearing go down and you will do it you have any questions please ask them down in the comment section below we'll be glad to help you much as i can okay i am pushing with my press here we go it's out and now we have a two bearings removed with a shaft and nice and easy not a big of a deal 
and uh, now we're going to clean up everything I'm just using the brake cleaner make sure parts are clean and ready for the assembly all right here's our diagram and we have our all parts in line how it should be fitted but it's pretty straightforward if you watch the video okay first put that snap ring we have a new snap ring came with a hub rebuild kit if you do this rebuild you will save a good chunk of money or because honestly you cannot buy this hub all assembled you only can get the parts and this is a tutorial for you how to do it and good demonstration good demonstration this is for demonstration purposes and i think you should be fine okay see a new shaft and we have an old shaft they compared they're all the same first we're going to install the bearing we'll press the bearing on the shaft yeah and that is easy to do if you have old bearing then you just <laughs> right or align the bearings and slightly start tapping with the hammer as you can see just you need to start it straight and then you're good to go and just put an old bearing on top of the new one and dig 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 and <laughs> see how it go how it's going yeah it's almost in and make sure it's flash and no gap in between and bearing fully in and it sits on the shaft properly that's first step okay first step for the installation new bearing <laughs> should last till the end of the excavator okay now we have one bearing on the shaft and we're going to press that bearing into the housing from the bottom this is the first bearing is going in and same old bearing same diameter we're putting over the new bearing with the shaft and start it slowly make sure it's going nice and straight it's not sided and keep tapping and i'm just using the hammer you see for the installation you don't have to use a press you will be good to do like this but for removal you better need to use the press otherwise you're risking to damage the housing okay as you can see one bearing and the shaft installed there's another bearing for the top and yeah we have a snap ring we have a bearing bearing with the shaft and now we are putting our top bearing this is a part number and you can cross match and find the bearing from the dealer or you can go and buy that bearing from the bearing bolt store whatever okay here's the new bearing this is all one same thickness same diameter inner outer exactly the same bearing be careful not to damage that plastic bolt cover and the gr they preloaded with the grease and be careful not to damage that covering Okay, just place it like this and same way as we push it bottom bearing is going as the same as our upper bearing guys if it will even help one person in the world and save the excavator or yeah will help you to get back the business I will be so happy that's it and uh, I'm doing it and why not to film I just clipped my GoPro to the bench and yeah that's it <laughs> simple as that and yep see it's almost in just tap it keep it straight you don't worry to damage the old bearing it's not good I won't get any use and as you can see my plastic covering for the bearing all nice and in shape no damage be careful with that make sure that all will be sealed and no grease will come out and get any dust and dirt inside all right as you can see yep you just tap 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 make sure it, it's all flash and it's not sticking out see nice and smooth and as you can see shaft inside the two bearings and so we have a snap ring inside 
everything exactly how it was assembled in the factory. Okay, we have that washer, which we need to put as well. That came in a package and it goes on the back. There we go, there's a washer. And, yep. And as you can see, old bearing that has the same washer seized in. And yeah, that's very important to follow this sequence, otherwise you won't be able to assemble. Oh yeah, here's a left threaded bolt. This bolt originally broke, not this particular bolt, but old bolt, which came from the factory with the machine, failed. It broke. And yep. Metal fatigue, too much tension, too much force, and it failed. And that bolt broke and took a radiator, took a bunch of other parts like a radiator fan, a couple hoses and things and quite a bit of damage. But make sure we're assembling all new parts. We have a new pulley. Pulley was damaged as well and it's left threaded. Look at that, right? Nice and easy. All it's not painted green, but it's a <laughs> Volvo OEM part. Okay. This bolt is not good, but we have a new one. We can save it. Old parts, old parts for sampling. If we needed it, but again, we have a sample. Okay, here's the how you do have everything you probably need to know, and if, but you still have questions, put them down in the comment section and help all of us to learn more. Okay, that's how it will be. Part number three assembly is coming soon and part number one check it out how to remove everything there's all in the box we have a hub all the built new bearings new shaft new bolt new washers new pulleys new radiator cooling fan with no broken blades and everything that is going back in the woods and will get assembled on a volvo if you would like to support my small hobby youtube channel please Go and watch more videos and more heavy equipment is coming. Thank you so much again. Take care. See you soon. Bye bye now.